All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Akeem. Welcome to today's second blog. Here to give you a college football preview on the Arkansas Razorbacks for the 2015 college football season. Now, last year the Razorbacks went seven and six, and they had a huge bowl win over my Texas Longhorns in the Texas Bowl, 31 to seven. Now, Brett Belima, uh, uh, Belima, the head coach for the Razorbacks, is looking to increase the wins this upcoming season. They went six and two last season in SEC play and actually that's you should still respect this team because a couple of those games they actually were close in some of those losses. Now they do have a lot of cu a couple of key starters on coming in on the offensive side. They do have the return of Brandon Allen who had two on 20 touchdown passes last season with five interceptions doing a great job in that in that touchdown interception ratio. Hopefully he can keep it up. But they actually have the be the best tandem in college football possibly in college football but definitely in the SEC conference and Jonathan Williams and Alex Collins both these two players have rushed for over a thousand yards last season in this tough SEC conference this is definitely the best tandem in the SEC possibly in the co in college football but you do have to think about Oregon's Thomas Tyner as well as Royce Freeman for the Ducks now on the defensive side they do have um they do have some key losses in Trey Flowers and Montreal Spade but they do have one player that I'm going to be looking at this year. There are a couple players in the lineman and um, Ellis Brooks, Josh Robinson, and K uh, Khalil uh, Hackett. But there's one player that I do like, and Jared Collins, the defensive back. I do have my eyes on him. I think he's going to be one of the top players on the defensive unit. Now, during the recruits during this offseason, they do have a lot of four-star recruits. Actually, 11 four-star recruits, according to ESPN. They actually picked up the number 13 defensive tackle in Hudson. Jati uh, or Fort Holt, sorry if I mispronounce your name. They picked up the number three tight end in CJ Crady. He could possibly start right away at the tight end position. And the number 20 offensive guard in Jalen Merrick. He's six foot four, 330 pounds. Huge size for the offensive line, but the speed, he needs to get that speed up to par so possibly he could lose just a little bit of weight, but get that speed in order to become an effective pulling guard in the near future for the Razorbacks. Now, this season, this is the team that I'm actually going to pick as my SEC sleeper. I have them going 8-4 and four this year. That is a huge record. That's a huge improvement in my opinion. If they go 8-4, and four, I think that Belima, that will be a successful year, and I think they could possibly sleep their way into the SEC championship. But you still have Alabama, you still have Auburn, and you also still have like Ole Miss and Mississippi State. Those are some tough matches, but I believe with this Razorback team, I think they work together as a unit. That's what I like about on the defensive side. Despite the fact that they do, they did lose their top two players. I think that this team could definitely turn things around and win the SEC West and get to the um, um in the SEC championship. But I'm not going to guarantee that. But they are my sleepers for this year. Now the next time to catch you guys will be in just a couple of minutes. I have more blogs for you for the SEC conference today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keenan McCall. Be easy.